if you aren't using drugs, doing fasted cardio versus fed cardio, like maybe there's not that significant of a difference in the literature. However, once you get into the enhanced realm of fat loss or bodybuilding or whatever, and you're starting to leverage pharmacology, that's kind of out the window. What's up guys, Derek, morepointsmoredates.com. Today we are going to be talking about Raul's sign, also known as Alpha Yohimbine or Iso Yohimbine. And to clarify, Raul's sign is not Yohimbine. So a lot of people jump to the conclusion that this is um, Yohimbine for some reason. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's structurally similar, but they are quite different in their act, not in the way they work, but Raul's sign is simply a superior compound in many aspects not only in efficacy milligram for milligram it's far more potent than yohimbine but above and beyond that its side effect profile is far more forgiving as well so the chemical structure is very similar on paper but their overall efficacy is very different in my opinion and like frankly i had to stop using yohimbine back in the day before i even knew about raul sign because it was so unpleasant to use it just like makes you feel like cracked out shitty it's not even like a good cracked out energy like at least with um, like an amphetamine analog or something, you get like, like driven focus, like cracked energy where it's like, you feel euphoric almost with Yohimbine. It's just like manic, um, anxiety ridden, hypoglycemic feeling, almost jittery, scared, fucking horrible energy. And it's just like, it's just a dirty, dirty, dirty stimulant feeling. So basically to start with, um, norepinephrine and epinephrine, which um, if you don't know, it's also just a fancy word or another word for adrenaline. They play key roles in fight or flight of the body. And this is also known as uh, the sympathetic nervous system. If you ever heard of sympathetic versus parasympathetic. Parasympathetic, this is basically like fight or flight sympathetic versus rest and digest. Calm, cool, collected, um, relax, parasympathetic. So the activity of these compounds is called adrenergic and they oppose the calm parasympathetic nervous system and enhanced sympathetic drive. And this is kind of what leads to their effects in the body in terms of how they drive uh, not only the cognitive aspect, but as well as the, you know, like fat burning potential of it. And basically they put your body in fight or flight mode. So what, how Rolstein works as well as Yohimbine is it blocks the alpha two adrenergic receptors in the body and binds to them. The thing about Rolstein though, is it's more selective in its ability to bind to the alpha-2 adrenergic receptors than Yohimbine. This is why it's superior. And it acts as a very potent stimulant when it does this, but it doesn't cause the same brutal side effects as Yohimbine to the same extent. It still can be side effect. It can still cause side effects, like don't get me wrong. It's still a stimulant after all, but it's more targeted in its action and it's a lot cleaner of a compound and it's a lot more potent milligram for milligram like you can yield an even more superior fat burning effect with like a fraction of the dose and feel a fraction of the side effects at the same time so you know like yohimbine like i said it's just known for feeling um super dirty it's like gives you this like hypoglycemia like if i use a pre-workout it literally makes me feel like i'm going hypo in the gym and I'm gonna pass out or something. I know some people who just get like nauseated too when they use it, they can't even use it because it makes them feel like absolutely horrible. So Raul is not only more potent at doing what Yohimbine is typically used for, but above and beyond that, it doesn't give you to nearly the same extent that jittery cracked out feeling. And some companies will put Alpha Yohimbine Raul sign in their pre-workouts because it's a pretty like noticeable stimulant that you can feel and it's still legal over the counter. So they'll put in a couple milligrams of it because they really want to like give a kick to the user. The reason I did not do that on purpose is because despite it being a lot cleaner than Yohimbine, it can still give you a bit of a bit of a dirty feeling. Like it's not like a focus, laser focus, clean stimulant like you would get with PEA analogs like we have in Gorilla Mode. Um, or Gorilla Mode Stim, or, you know, things like, uh, not DMAA to the extent of that, but things of that nature um, that even am amphetamine analogs that are more like euphoric, laser focused, like not clean, but it's like, it doesn't make you feel like you're cracked out and panicked, which is sort of what Yohimbine is horrible at and Raul signed to a much lesser extent, but it can still do that 
at a high enough dose. So it's very hit or miss in pre-workouts. And this is why I never recommend anyone to use it pre-workout. It's more of a fat loss agent to be leveraged before cardio, fasted cardio, ideally. I'm going to explain why shortly, but it's an intentional reason why I didn't put it in the pre-workout. So you only need a couple of milligrams to get like a big kick from it. So obviously a lot of companies, they think, oh, like what's, what's the best way to like make the user think this is potent. Let's put in alpha yohim bind Raul sign and let's put in beta alanine because we know that once their butthole is itchy in the middle of their workout, that it must mean the pre-workout's potent because we have a dose that is one 50th of the efficacious dose, but their buttholes itchy, so they know it works, which in reality, we both know that there's no actual performance enhancing benefit at a minuscule dosage, a fraction of what would otherwise be necessary to yield the minimal performance enhancing benefit of it anyways. But anyways, that's a side tangent, and I will save my uh, beta alanine <laughs> rants for other videos, and I've touched on it before many times. So basically, like I said, um, Yohim Bind is just inferior based on everything I've seen. Um, in a lot anecdotal experience too, but as well as clinically, you have to do some uh, um, extrapolating to determine that because it's not like there is a head on head com competition or study comparing them head to head in a um, human ingestion context that shows one is simply better in humans at this dose and has less anxiety in like a randomized controlled trial or something. But in real life, like there's been tons of people that have used this stuff. I've used it for years and I've compared them head to head. And I can tell you in all aspects, even extrapolating from the literature, Yo Ra Raul sign is simply a better compound. So how it works exactly is it antagonizes alpha two androgenic receptors, like I said, and increases norepinephrine epinephrine, do epinephrine, dopamine, and uh, decreases serotonin as well. So in some of my previous videos, I've talked about, uh, you know, certain compounds that be can be leveraged in a pharmacology aspect to actually get enhanced uh, fat loss in a uh, fasted cardio session. So, you know, commonly you will see content about, you know, like there's no difference between doing fasted versus fed cardio. It's all a myth and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter when you do it. And it's like, yeah, in general, if you aren't using drugs, doing fasted cardio versus fed cardio, like maybe there's not that significant of a difference in the literature. However, once you get into the enhanced realm of fat loss or bodybuilding or whatever, and you're starting to leverage pharmacology, that's kind of out the window. Like you can add, this is one of the few compounds that can actually be deployed to enhance a fasted cardio session as it mobilizes fats from stores and gives the user the ability to, or the opportunity to use them as energy, which they may have otherwise not been able to, to the same extent. And it has its effects significantly blunted if taken postprandially, which means after a meal. So when people say that, you know, fed cardio versus fasted cardio, there's no difference. That's not, that's not taking into account um, leveraging different agents to enhance processes that you would otherwise not be able to enhance as a natural. And I'm not saying you're, you know, unnatural if you use rebels. <laughs> I'm just saying, obviously it's a, it's a compound. It's not like a natural thing you're going to get in a piece of chicken or something like that. So now not only can Raul Sun be used to enhance fat loss during a fasting cardio session above and beyond that, it actually has its effects blunted when used after a meal. This is what I just mentioned about the uh, postprandially blunting the effects. So I'm going to show you a study to kind of uh, explain why exactly. So in this study here, um, it is called alpha-2 antagonist compounds and lipid mobilization. Evidence for a lipid mobilizing effect of oral yohimbine in healthy male volunteers. So as we know, alpha yohimbine structurally similar to Raul sign. It's pretty much doing the same thing, just in a much less selective manner and um yohim bind is much less selective than raul sign it's also less potent so from what we gather from this and extrapolate from this study we can sort of infer for raul sign as well so what we see here the lipid mobilizing action of yohim bind was reinforced during physical exercise lipid mobilizing is like what we're using it for in fasted cardio completely suppressed after a meal and partially blocked by administration of Propranolol, 60 minutes before taking Yohimbine. The lipid mobilizing effect of Yohimbine could be attributable to 
the increase in synaptic norepinephrine with a resultant increment in lipolysis by beta adrenergic agonism, a decrease in alpha-2 adreno adrenoceptor stimulation of human fat cell alpha-2 and it's a hard one, adrenoceptors, a blockade of presynaptic alpha-2 adrenoceptors, the use of highly selective alpha-2 antagonists will allow investigations into alpha-2 adrenoceptors, which may represent a novel locus for phar pharmacological intervention in lipid mobilization strategy. So basically, what it's saying here is that, um, that using alpha-2 receptor, um, and by that, it's basically referring to alpha-2 andrenergic receptor antagonists here, and there's kind of like... Uh, simplifying the word even though they're kind of overcomplicating it with even more pretentious language too unfortunately which is uh makes it hard to kind of dissect through these studies but i mean um basically we know like i mentioned raul san yohimbine alpha 2 adrenergic receptor antagonists and through this they're mentioning how the use of them will allow investigations into blah 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 a novel way for blah 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 intervention and lipid mobilization strategy so it's basically a fancy way of saying strategies for mobilizing fat and being able to get like more fat loss. So Rolosine is more selective than, it's a more highly selective alpha-2 endronergic receptor agonist than Yohimbine, like mentioned in the study, that it is a potential, um, you know, like novel way to go about uh, approaching fat loss. So it's uh, more um, promising than Yohimbine um, at doing the same thing. And frankly, it's the best go-to we have readily available right now over the counter. It's not some obscure drug that's super expensive. It's very, very cheap. And in fact, it is one of the only things, there are very few fat burning agents that like really seem to make a relative, like a significant difference at the end of the day. And this is something I use to cut. Like every year I've used this every time I wanna cut, I deploy an alpha two adrenergic receptor antagonist like Raul sign. This is the one I use every year. It's usually at a dose of about three milligrams before fasted cardio. And this is why it was a no brainer for me to come out with it for Gorilla Mind. So now this is sort of like a launch video, I guess, because a lot of people were saying, are you gonna cover the compound Rebel Sign? It just launched on the site. I haven't made a post about it. And frankly, I'm kind of backlogged on creating some of the posts for some of the products that have been coming out because I've been trying to put out content on other stuff. But this is actually a compound I think is like worth picking up. It's cheap, it works well. I use it personally. Um, it's kind of like one of my go-tos on top of caffeine as well as injectable L-carnitine as well as um, other things which I'll delve into in a sec here. And I'll kind of get into like a cost-effective way to deploy it and then I'm going to get into some of the more elaborate stuff later. But anyways, of the compounds that are like, if you want to leverage all the different aspects of fat burning, this is like one of the ones to go to if you're going to be looking at alpha-2 adrenergic receptor antagonists, like this is the go-to one. So it also weakly activates certain serotonin receptors so they're like 5 ht1a 5 ht1d as well and it blocks partially um 5 ht1b 5 ht2a 5 ht2b and 5 ht2c now how relevant is that um you know like it's kind of like uh potentially useless information for you <laughs> but what it can mean is it can also reduce appetite and offer um anti-anxiety and antidepressant effects through um it's uh, you know like weak activation of these uh, receptors and they're weak, you know, it's like relative ability to block other ones that I mentioned. So basically what is the takeaway from all this before I delve into kind of how to deploy it? Um, it's stronger than Johimbine, especially when it comes to its monoamine oxidase inhibiting properties. So it significantly extends the half-life and the active life of uh, monoamines much longer than Johimbine. So it makes, um, other stimulants a lot more potent and you need to consider that when you are considering your dosages. Like if you're using ephedrine, if you're using clenbuterol, if you're using amphetamine analogs, like these are things like, this is why there's a warning on the bottle that says don't combine with like pretty much anything. With that being said, it's going to be used in a turnkey fat burner soon that has um, other stimulants in it in pre-selected synergies and dosages that I'm going to be releasing soon. Rattlesign is very good on its own though, so that's why I actually launched it separately. This video is probably gonna come out before the other fat burner even comes out, which is gonna be like twice as expensive as Alpha Johimbine Rattlesign because of all the other ingredients in it. It's going to be a turnkey formula, but it's like the heavy hitter that's driving that formula or at least one of them is the Raul sign. So that's why it's such a potent thing and such a great fat loss agent, in my opinion, that I wanted to make it a separate option for people who just wanted that as opposed to the laundry list 
of other things I have in the stimulant based fat burner coming out. So um, like nobody's forcing you to take like the most expensive version with the, you know, the giant formula that I developed. So Ralph sign, like as a cost effective means of fat loss, it's very good when stacked on top of ephedrine and caffeine, like a traditional ECA stack, deploying like an EC, <laughs> ECAR stack, like ephedrine, caffeine, Raul sign is very good. And that's kind of like, could be more than enough for what you're trying to get out of a uh, cutting phase from a stimulant context. Complicating it much more than that is not necessarily, uh, like that would be a very cost effective way to get a significant uh, fat burning effect without overcomplicating the protocol with the laundry list of compounds that I'm going to be releasing in the fat burner coming up, which is still going to be worth getting by the way, but it's like the ECA stack is pretty tried and true and works very well. And frankly, the, com the combination coming out in the stimulant formula I'm releasing is basically just my attempt to replicate as damn close as I can get to an ECA stack, but legally over the counter. So if you can get ECA, like by all means, go do that and uh, leverage uh, Raul sign on its own with it. But keep in mind, it's a decently potent MAO inhibitor. So if you're going to be using a Fedrin, like that's already something that is more resistant to um, MAO than a lot of amphetamine analogs. So when you're using something like um, a Fedrin and you are using Raul sign in conjunction with it, you're probably going to have to lower your dose of ephedrine to kind of compensate for that MAO inhibition that's happening from the alpha Johan bind. So just keep that in mind because you might end up overdoing the dosages. If you otherwise are trying to keep your ECA dose the same and then stack Raul sign on top, you might push yourself into overkill territory. So be very, very aware of that and be careful of your combination choices of stimulants when you're using Raul sign. So basically the kind of like best way to approach fat loss in the most simplistic manner is kind of like, um, Having a potent beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonist, like, uh, you know, like ephedrine works well for that. Um, there are other things that work well for that that I'm not going to delve into too much in this video. Um, but above and beyond that, you have alpha Johimbine, Rolosine, which is the alpha 2 adrenergic receptor antagonist, which you can use in conjunction with the beta 2 um, androgen, adrenergic receptor agonist, like the ephedrine. And then you can have caffeine stacked on top of that. And that's kind of like a uh, like a very cost effective, potent, heavy hitting stack, to be honest. And above and beyond that, by the way, monitor your blood pressure when you're using it. Obviously, um, this is something that could get out of hand if you're not be very cognizant of what you're doing. Um, and in addition to that, like I already mentioned, like be careful of what you're combining it with. Like don't be combining it with high doses of amphetamines. Um, there's a lot of interactions when you are inhibiting MAO with something like this, so it is something to keep in mind with whatever else you're using. But um, basically at the end of the day, Yohimbine is a very dirty compound, in my opinion, that um, it's also scheduled in a lot of countries, whereas uh, Raul Sun is not, and it's more potent, a milligram for milligram, it works better at fat loss, and it uh, doesn't feel like dirty as hell, like Yohimbine. Yohimbine literally makes you feel like you're going to have a panic attack <laughs> When you're using it, Raul sign is uh, much lesser likely to do that and it burns more fat from what I've seen personally in my own experience. So um, I'm going to release a more comprehensive deep dive into the fat um, fat burner that I am coming out with through Gorilla Mind soon. That's going to be the foundation of it is built kind of on the same structure I mentioned and basically the laundry list of different synergistic compounds are going to be used to kind of replicate what you would otherwise get from a like pretty high dose of an ECA stack. So if that interests you and you wanna wait for that, you know, you can get the Raul sign in the thing already at a predetermined dosage in conjunction with everything else. But also, you know, obviously I mentioned if you wanna go with the tried and true, like really cost effective, easy thing to do, Raul sign is cheap, it's on the Gorilla Mind site. You can use that like three, like one capsule, fasted before cardio with your with your beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonist and some caffeine and like frankly you don't really need a whole lot more than that to get a significant uh to burn a shit ton of fat and it works very well so this is one of my favorite fat loss agents and there aren't a whole lot of other things that are worth uh touching on it to be honest i'm kind of just rambling at this point so um, hopefully you learned something from that and, um, you know, maybe I piqued your interest into something you may have not known of. A lot of people think that most fat burners are garbage and do absolutely nothing. And like, to be honest, a lot of them are hyped up and overly hyped up, but Raul sign, in my opinion, is one I've been using for many years now. And, um, I'm happy I can actually like 
bring it to the public now because a lot of people, I don't know why, a lot of companies will shove it into pre-workouts and like I would never use it in a pre-workout. It's too hit or miss as a thing that makes you feel good. You want a feel good compound in your pre-workout not something that could be hit or miss in kind of like a um, fight or flight anxiety mode thing, which is like, it's a bit too um, skew in the direction of being uh, too close to, like it still feels like Yohimbine just to a far lesser extent. So it's something I would never use pre-workout personally. I would reserve it for um, fat loss before cardio, fasted cardio ideally. And um, yeah, I don't know why more companies don't have it, to be honest. Like as a solo agent, it's definitely worth carrying and it is uh, cheap, effective, and a good go-to. So check it out if that interests you, gorillamind.com, link in description below. If you wanna save 10% off, you can use coupon code DC10 and it makes it even cheaper. And like, frankly, this stuff is uh, very, very cost effective for what you're getting. So I always have a bottle on hand for if I ever wanna start a cut. This was even before Gorilla Mind and everything else. So happy to bring it to you guys and um, definitely recommend you try it out if you are going to a um, fat loss phase. Obviously we're getting into uh, fall and winter here. So some of you guys are going bear mode pretty soon, but some of us, um, some people are still trying to get lean. So um, if that interests you, check it out. And um, yeah, you can support the channel by getting Raul signed too with uh, Gorilla Mind and the coupon code um, will save you a little bit of money too. And anything else I'm associated with, video description below as well. And check me out on Instagram if you want to follow me there, at moreplates underscore more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. Um, subscribe to the newsletter for its link in the description below if you want to get uh, my deep dives into bodybuilding pharmacology sent to you. You will not get sent those articles if you don't sign up. So I highly recommend you do a lot of incentive to do so. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.